So I think the pandemic has broken all of the rules, which means we have to build back better and build back differently as a society. And we've seen that across Glasgow during the pandemic, where communities have risen to the challenge that's been put forward to them. And we've seen all across the city new ways and new models of working as communities have rallied together to offer emergency support in the first instance, but now look into the future with a renewed sense of hope and optimism that they can be involved and that they can shape their communities. Most people know better than politicians what the answers are in the communities that they live in and so we're asking them to help us to get involved, to step up and to be part of the solution. Local people know the facilities that they care about and they're passionate about and so we want them to play a role in helping us to reopen those facilities and to bring life back to Glasgow. So we've seen examples all across the city where communities have rolled up their sleeves and got involved. Here in my own local area, we've seen one church go from serving 40 people before the pandemic to delivering over 100,000 meals uh, during lockdown. We've seen organisations take on venues during the pandemic, which otherwise would have been closed. And we've seen a, a huge groundswell of community spirit. We've seen a rebirth of how people feel about their communities and people's reconnection with each other and with the places that they care about. And that's what we want to see more of uh, in the city because we know that that is the route out of Covid and it's the route to a better Glasgow. I think community is about people working together and I think that's a key part of Glasgow's heritage. And, and across this city communities have worked really hard uh, organising for better housing, better health and better places. And as they've done that, they've created new social innovations, new social activism and new social enterprises. So the communities of this city are capable, creative and caring. And the communities of the city also really understand local places and are actively working to try and create more local choices for local people. I think when you look at the heritage of Glasgow's communities, it shows what's possible when people work together because people make Glasgow's communities. Well, I think the People Make Glasgow Communities programme has an opportunity to really involve the strengths of, of people in the city. It's a chance for community groups, volunteer organisations, social enterprises, of which there's over 3,000 in the city, to really step up and be involved. I think particularly when you look at areas like managing venues or taking on community activity, these are places that the knowledge that people bring from living in the community and understanding you know, what they experience and what their neighbours experience uh, can really add value to what happens inside a building, uh, which is as important as the building itself. You know, not having facilities available, people just hopefully appreciate how, how valuable they are to the community. Um, and the community have got to get involved. Um, it's no longer viable um, for organisations to run these you know, in, in isolation. Uh, and we are delighted um, having the experience that I have over the last seven years running uh, our own facility to extend that now uh, to work in partnership with Glasgow Life, who again have made this possible. Um, for the elected members who have been so supportive throughout and it's been fantastic and given us the confidence to keep moving forward and you know, know what this is and, and what this hopefully will bring for the community and not just Paul United.